there are some things at Data Kitchen that we need to talk about. Hey there, hi, welcome to the channel. I am Garrett, and in this video, we're talking about some trends that are dating your kitchen. Being formally trained in interior design, we talk a lot about kitchens because they're pretty important, which is why you should be sure to check out my kitchen design playlist linked in the description box down below. Now we've got a number of things to get through, so let's get into the video. Now the first trend that is dating your kitchen that needs to go is the Alpine everything. Some people like pine. I personally am not a fan and that's okay. But the trend that really dates the space is when everything is in this dark kind of pine wood. Maybe it's not dark, maybe it's yellow. When everything is all pine, it gives you that dark cabin look that really does not feel fresh. It doesn't feel inviting or bright. Lightening up one or two of the surfaces will change the space. If you have a pine ceiling and walls and floor and cabinetry, it's gonna be very dark feeling. So painting one of the surfaces, maybe it's the wall, maybe it's just your upper cabinets will lighten the space and give you a little bit more of that rustic luxury country cabin type of feel as opposed to something that feels dark and that feels dated. Now obviously if you are planning on repainting I definitely recommend you have someone professional come out to do that work for you to get a really great finish. Something else worth considering is maybe having the finish stripped off of those cabinets so they don't have a glossy look or effect to them. That way they feel a little bit more rustic and a little bit like they've been there for a while, they're less trendy and more timeless. The next trend that is dating your kitchen is that speckled brown granite. You all know what I'm talking about. Very 2006 kind of builder grade moment. This definitely dates a kitchen. However, if you have it, it's a good surface. So look at ways you can work with that. Brighten up the space because this can feel very dark. That's always a great way to uplift an existing space and I love that for you. But if you are on the journey of renovating your kitchen, let's avoid adding this type of granite back into the space because it will make it feel like it was put in 10 or 15 years ago when this type of surface was very in. If you like the durability of granite, there are some beautiful options out there. And I definitely recommend you go to a stone yard and have a look at them. Look at the different slabs and the colors and the tones of them. There are some really beautiful black and dark granites. There are some really gorgeous light white variants or colored variants that are really fun too. There's always a way to bring in something that has a little bit of that vibrancy that's going to pop without your space feeling dated. This type of tan and black speckled granite, I don't think we should be installing today. I think it's something we can leave and enjoy in homes that already have it and we can move on and move forward with something that's just a little bit less trendy and more timeless. There was also a trend for a little while of people painting granite, definitely don't do that. Let's enjoy the granite if we have it because it's actually a really good surface that doesn't need to be painted because it's already a great surface. Not the point, let's move on to our next topic. The next trend that can actually date a kitchen is one you should definitely look out for and that is the edging on your countertop. There's lots of different styles you can go for, but the one I would avoid is what's typically referred to as a bull nose. As a person with bulldogs, yes, I am offended, but not the point. This type of edging pulls us back to a specific period. Right now, what is the biggest trend is this kind of square but very thick edging on a countertop. This can look cool in a more modern space if you're looking to update a more traditional space. It's something worth considering, but it is a trend. So be mindful what you are considering and look at the style of your home and pull inspiration from that. If you have a very traditional space, I'm expecting to see a pretty traditional edging, but if you have a more modern space, hey, just that basic square edge on the countertop looks pretty great to me. In a cabin, go for that rustic kind of live edge feel. That's what's going to fit the space and be timeless for the architecture of the home as opposed to just what is current or looks good right now. The next trend that dates a kitchen is actually all about the hardware. And I'm not talking just about the color or the finish, I'm talking about the style. Having one style of hardware throughout a kitchen 
definitely makes the space feel a little bit dated and it honestly makes it feel a little bit bland. I'm talking about, do we need to have that one style of knob on the uppers and the lowers and the drawers in the kitchen? I don't think so. I think you can mix two of them together. Go for those knobs on the upper cabinetry and then on the lower or base cabinets on drawers and doors, opt for a beautiful pull in two different sizes. Mixing those together will always make a space feel a little bit more timeless, a little bit more interesting interesting, it's just a small detail that people pay attention to. I also think if you are going to use the same finish or the same tone, make sure it matches. Don't go for an antique brass and then an unlacquered brass because the difference is going to be clear and kind of obvious. I'm also not a fan of spray painting the hardware if you are planning on that being a permanent solution. But I really want to know from you, what type of hardware, what tones, what styles do you use in your kitchen? Is it all the same? Do you like it? Does it feel fresh? Or do you mix two different styles or three different styles together? Be sure to share with me in the comment section down below. And while you are down there, take a moment to make sure you are subscribed. I am seeing so many comments from my loyal viewers who thought they were subscribed, but really weren't. Take a moment, make sure you're subscribed, and if you're not already, consider joining the fam and turning on the bell notification to get notified every time I upload. I know everyone asks you to subscribe because as content creators, it means a lot to us, especially on this channel because I value every one of my subscribers and I love it when you leave me a comment to let me know that you have subscribed after you do so. Our next trend that is dating your kitchen and needs to go actually is pulling back to hardware and that is the leather hardware pull trend. I don't know if you all saw this, but I saw it pretty regularly from people that were looking for more affordable alternatives for cabinetry hardware because it can be an investment. So I saw a number of people using leather pulls and it was kind of a leather tab or just a piece with suede on the back. This for me dates a kitchen. Not only does it date a kitchen, it also just does not look like you can clean that. Like how are you cleaning the backside of a suede handle. Like that just does not make sense to me. I don't like it. Maybe it's not so much dated as it is just a bad idea. Definitely something we should work on removing, updating, reconsidering altogether because it's not super functional. While it looks interesting and it definitely gives the space character, is, you know, like a dirty suede handle the kind of character you want your space to have? I don't think so. We can move on, we can update something, and you don't have to spend a ton of money on hardware to get a really beautiful look and finish. So definitely take the time and find the right hardware for you that maybe is not leather. The next trend that is dating your kitchen and needs to go is actually the paneled appliance. And I'm not talking about the 2022 beautiful, luxurious, built-in paneling because that's gorgeous. It's a major investment and it looks like it. It really is a showstopper, but I'm talking about the early 90s, 2000s paneled appliances. You're not fooling anyone because I can tell it's a refrigerator because the panel doesn't cover it because it's kind of like a refrigerator with a piece of wood on the front as opposed to a cabinet door with a refrigerator behind it. It's kind of obvious and it dates a home to a specific period or point in time. I understand that it was cool at the time. I mean, I don't think I would have ever walked into someone's kitchen and then been like, look at my paneled refrigerator. Can you tell where it is? Because like, that's the refrigerator. Like, you know, like you can tell where it is. It's not hidden. So I just don't think it looks very polished. I would rather just see a stainless steel appliance. And if you have one of these built-in appliances that have these, look to the manufacturer, reach out to them, because they oftentimes sell just the flat panel door or like the stainless steel cover to go on that door. So you don't have to take out the built-in refrigerator, which is very expensive. You could just recover the door with something that feels a little bit more up to date. At the end of the day, I would rather just see stainless steel than one of these features that is starting to look a little bit dated. The next trend that is dating your kitchen and needs to go are these vent hoods. And you know the ones I'm talking about where you can kind of see the walls on the side, where it doesn't fill up the space. There's a number of reasons I don't like these. And the first of which is actually the maintenance and taking care of them because those slanted sides are going to get so dusty and just covered in junk and grease and gross. I don't love that for me. I don't love it for you. I don't love the visual aspect of it. And I know that we have all seen the vent hoods with the glass on them. I can't even talk about it. I don't know what that was ever about, but it's not happening. Not today, not in 2022. 
I much prefer something that is built out that takes the full advantage of that space. Not only do you get more visual impact out of something like that, you have less to dust. And that for me is like, the golden rule. I want to have the least amount of maintenance as possible in a space because that means I can enjoy the space more than spend more time cleaning it. And this is one of those items where you can really, really change the functionality of a kitchen and give it the beautiful impact it needs. Taking advantage of not having to clean something is the best way to lower the maintenance of your home. The next trend that is dating your kitchen and we can just leave in the past is the tile countertop. Now I know this is like the data trend and we've talked about it before, but I'm just not into the tile countertop. I understand it's kind of quirky, it's kind of cute for those vintage kitchens. But what I really wanna to talk to you about is those mid renovations that we sometimes do to these spaces. So if you really want a solid surface stone countertop, but you maybe don't have the budget to go all out and do a slab, sometimes people choose the tile option. This for me is a no-go. I would rather see a laminate countertop in a space that's easier to change out down the road than I would to see a serious investment made in a tile countertop that won't have the longevity and doesn't ever say luxury. It says like midpoint, like we kind of sort of wanted to do something. Take the time and save up to do the really good job that you are after, as opposed to settling for something like a tiled countertop. Now, if that is your preference and it works with the style of your home, go for it. But the kind of granite tile meant for the floor that we're repurposing to use for the countertop, it's kind of that halfway point that I would rather see you take the time, save up and invest in what you're really after or what you really love the look of, as opposed to settling for something like a tiled countertop that definitely points a home to a certain time period. And that's the opposite of timeless design. The next trend that is dating your kitchen and needs to go is actually that wood valance over the kitchen sink, you know, like where you have the kitchen window and you have that wood valance there. For me, it's just not it. It's just not feeling current or up to date. It actually gives the space a little bit of a cottage kind of a vibe. It brings the height of the ceiling down a little bit in that area. And I don't think that's ever what you really want. If you have the option, I would rather see a more flush style of a Roman blind. I would rather see a light fixture there as opposed to this kind of valance that's kind of got the scalloped edging or maybe it's got a cutout that definitely points a kitchen to a specific period in time and doesn't really feel timeless. It actually makes a space feel a little bit older than it might be, which is obviously not the ideal situation that you want for your kitchen. Updating that with a blind of some sort will definitely make the space feel and look a little bit more timeless and a little bit less like it's from a specific time period. The next trend that is dating your kitchen is those concrete kind of fake colorful tiles that we have seen everywhere. They were very popular in the farmhouse style, but we've kind of moved past it because it was really, really popular, really big, and we saw it so much. It's to the point now where we can leave it in the past, we can move on, but it is something that kind of says, we know when that space was done. We know what inspiration you took from it or where you got that idea from. Because it was so popular and so kind of overdone, I think we can value it and appreciate it in the spaces it's in, but I think we can leave it there and we can move on to something that's a little bit more timeless, maybe opt for more original styles of this tile, or maybe something natural stone is also really amazing. We don't have to have these really vibrant, colorful tiles because they're very time specific and very taste specific. Not everyone wants to have a red and pink or blue tile in their kitchen. If you are planning on being in a space in the long term and you love this, go for it. But I would focus this on a smaller area where you have a little bit more impact. Maybe in a butler's pantry, maybe in a powder room, somewhere that does not have to be seen all of the time because as this style becomes more dated, you're not gonna wanna see it as much. Definitely consider what you are doing and be careful with the choices you're making. What time period are they specific to? Is it the biggest trend at the moment? Because it might not be the best thing to put into the space at that time. It's definitely worth considering to achieve your goal of having a timeless space. 
Well, there you have it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below and I want to hear from my subscribers. What is that one dated kitchen trend that you were like, we know exactly what time period when you redid that kitchen and what your inspiration was and we are sick of seeing it. Be sure you let me know in the comment section down below. I also know that you know someone that they are redoing their kitchen and they don't have a clue. They want to put these trends in and you were like, it's not Lashik approved and you need help, share this video with them because friends help friends and I will see you in the next one.